there, boys and girls. Pelican Land owes a big debt of 50 bushels of corn to the neighboring land of Sranya. The corn is all collected, and this is the big payoff day. A shipment of corn has disappeared. It was put in the vault this morning. Oh, why, this could boon Pelican Land if we don't find it. Oh, we owe 50 bushels of corn to the neighboring state of Swania. And if we don't pay that debt by midnight tonight, the swans will take over our country. Oh, I'd better summon the Lord High Chancellor at once. Oh, if we don't find that corn, Pelican Land is ruined. This is dreadful, Your Excellency. We might as well turn everything over to the King of Swanya right now. He won't accept any excuses. If you wish, Your Excellency, uh, I can deliver the papers to the King of Swanya right now before there's any trouble. No! No, no! What we have to do is to find that 50 bushels of corn and pay the debt. Grandpa Periwinkle, you mustn't let Swanya rule Pelican Land. <laughs> what else can we do? We borrowed the corn from Swanya and we have to pay it back. You know, we pelicans have a reputation for honesty. I've done a little detective work, Grandpa, and I'm going to see if I can't find that corn that vanished. And I'll help you, young man. Why, with my knowledge of this country, I can show you every place where to look. Lord High Chancellor, who besides Grandpa Periwinkle has a key to this vault? Why, His Excellency and I have the only keys that I know of, young man. Whoever took the corn must be extremely clever. Ah, uh, it would take more than cleverness to break into the vault. And besides, the vault door wasn't broken. The vault was locked when Grandpa showed it to me. Say, I just remembered. There is one other key to the vault. The keeper of the dungeon has kept that key, and I'm pretty sure he may have it. I'll take you to him. Perhaps he can explain where he was when the corn disappeared. If he can't, we'll have him. Hmm. That's odd. He doesn't seem to be here. You stay here and I'll look. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I slipped. Hmm, then I'm afraid I locked the door. Oh, I'll have to go get the keeper of the dungeon so he can let you out. Why, Patty? What in the world are you doing down here? I thought you were out trying to find that bushel of corn. I got locked in here by accident. And the Lord High Chancellor went to find the Keeper of the Dungeon to get the key to unlock the door. Why, there is no Keeper of the Dungeon, Patty. Well, we haven't kept anybody down here for years. But the Lord Chancellor has a key. Grandpa Periwinkle, I have an idea that the Chancellor did something with that corn. And I'm going to find out. I'm going to stay in this cell from now. And, and you give me your key so that I can unlock the door and come upstairs any time I want to. Say, I'm sorry, young man, but I haven't been able to find the keeper of the dungeon yet. But don't worry, he'll be back before long. And whatever you do now, don't let Grandfather know that you got locked in the dungeon. <laughs> Just keep quiet and wait. He doesn't know I'm following him, and I believe he's heading towards the river. Maybe the corn is hidden at the river's edge. It is, and he's loading it into the boat. Oh, I better do something about this in a hurry. Hey, stop that, stop that. You're the one who took the corn. No wonder you wanted me to stay in the dungeon. You won't get away. Come back here. Stay away from that boat. I'll get you for having to chase your car to the end of the river. Whoa, that was a close call. I don't think you can catch me. But I had to leave without the corn. That makes me mad. The only way to catch him is to fly. Maybe, maybe if I camouflage myself, it'll work. I'll take this cloth. It's the same color as the sky. That'll, that'll do it. He'll never be able to see me. I'll swoop down on him. Mm, I guess he's given up. I don't see any sign of him. Oh, my. You! How did you get here? How did you get here? Never mind how I got here. Just give me those doors. I'm taking you back to Pelican Land. You have a lot of explaining to do. Why, why, you're not a pelican at all. You're a swan. You've been wearing an imitation beak. You're nothing but a spy. Oh, please, please don't, please don't be too harsh with me, young man. I was just trying to help Swan you get the better of Pelican Land. You're going to carry back every sack of this car to the vault, and don't complain about being too tired either. Because now that you have this back in the vault here, you're going to carry all of it down to the Pelican Land ship to be delivered to Swanya. Patty, 
mighty proud of you, son. If it hadn't been for your quick thinking, why, why, there's no telling what might have happened to us.